from relationships to houseplant help, it's all here. Sara Anton of Garden Styles is going to help us keep our plants healthy, even in these cold temperatures. And I know at my house, this is a huge problem. We brought the lemon tree inside, several other plants. But what's some go-to advice? Okay, so these are things that you should have around your house. This is really exciting. One thing is, is Dawn dish soap particularly, if you take this and get wet a paper towel, add some dish soap to it, and wipe down all your leaves, top and bottom, this will prevent the bugs from sticking to the leaves. So that's one thing. Another thing you can do is you do one part hydrogen peroxide to 10 parts water, water in your plant, not only does this kill the bugs, it also gets rid of black mold and different kinds of fungus. Oh my gosh, those Isn't are both that amazing? So such great tips. Now, one thing I need to know, how do you know if your plant has bugs? One of our guys here said, we saw it flying around when it's upstairs, <laughs> not when it's downstairs. But let's say you don't see the obvious bugs. How do you know? Okay, so if your leaves turn yellow, that means too much water. Okay. If your leaves are drying up, that means not enough water. But if your leaves are kind of crinkling, that typically means bugs. Okay. So then I would go to doing this, and then I would add it to a spray bottle, again, one to 10 parts water, and I would spray down your plant once a week, because this will kill bugs, but it won't kill eggs. Okay. Okay, so, um, and another important thing is feeding your plant, and this is amazing. If you add a teaspoon to a gallon of water of ammonia, it will green up your plants and it will feed them. Okay, so that's the secret behind your green thumb, right? Because you yeah, didn't bring anything in with yellow leaves. <laughs> they look so beautiful, even amidst the winter. So that's so important. Um, what kind of pot should we actually be choosing for a plant that goes inside? Okay, so you can choose any pot but if you're going to use a clay pot, this, you can see this has the water deposits on it because it absorbs the water. Okay. And um, so this is gonna dry out a lot more quickly than this one is in a plastic pot set inside. That's not going to dry up as quickly. Okay. And in the winter time, we need less water than in the summertime because we have fewer hours of sunlight. Oh, that makes so, so much sense. Yeah, so they're kind of in a dormancy stage, so. More plants die from overwatering than underwatering. Okay, and just how, FYI. How often should we water right now? And also, how much should we feed it? Because I know we add something to the water. Right, right. So I would feed once a month. I would check your plant once a week. But if you put your finger in there, uh, about two inches, and it feels you know cool and moist, don't water it. Again, overwatering is going to kill them before underwatering because they need the oxygen as much as they need the water. Okay, and then I know that this might vary between plant to plant, but how much sunlight should they be getting? How close should we put it to the door? Good question, good question. So if you put it too close to a window, you are going to, the cool, if you don't have the most efficient windows, and even if they are, they're gonna get too cold. So I say you wanna do it at least two feet from the window. And then depending on the plant, if it's a low light plant, like a Sansevierius, which really can handle very low light, that you can put as long as it's getting some daylight, it'll be fine. Um, this is a Hoya, it likes light. So um, this guy you can do 18 inches from the window. So just pay attention, the tag on the plant should tell you low light or high light. Okay, so if or, I need a good plant, bring in Hoya. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, if you want a really carefree plant, do the sands of areas. Okay, well that, that might be the one we need to have. <laughs> okay. Sara, thank you so much for all those thank tips. Thank you. Bill?